Greetings, YouTube, and welcome back to Chapter 3 of Land of the Night. Somebody named Lest is not saying anything. And a woman's voice says, uh, wake up. Are you alright? Open your eyes. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, he's short. Anyway, this is some kind of beach. No oh, good. It looks like you aren't particularly injured. You're not going to tell me you've lost your memories, are you? Memories? Unless the guest was in some kind of... In the middle of some kind of adventure. And remembers some coming upon a black vortex. Then he was drawn into it. Yeah, I was drawn into a black, sucked into a black vortex. And after that, I don't remember anything. When he came to, he was here. But how was he delivered to this place? Hmm, so you saw a black vortex too. Actually, I'm the same. The same, huh? Get right into a black vortex. Mm-hmm. I was walking around outside and I was sucked into a black vortex. When I came to, I was on this beach. It's just that I came to a little before you did. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Hmm. Is that so? Seems we two have got wrapped up in some kind of trouble. I'm Tasa, a shrine maiden of Komodo. You are? I'm Lest, a swordsman. Have you heard of the Omni Swordsman? Uh, sorry, it's the first I've heard of it. Uh, is that so? By the way, this place you called Komodo, you haven't heard of it? In the end, I think it's a pretty famous island. Nope, never. Well, something strange here. Les feels that... feels a sense of unease that he can't put into words. But we've got to get away from this place. More than the fact that we simply don't know what kind of place it is. We don't know if there might be something dangerous here. Anyway, let's get to someplace safe. If we've been abducted by someone, this place is dangerous. But, being honest here, he doesn't think that they've been abducted. He doesn't get the feel that anybody's keeping watch over him or anything. But, first priority, securing a safe location. And not just for my own sake, but for Tasa's sake as well. Hmm, yeah, this place might be dangerous. So let's look for some kind of human habitation. And that's how Tasa and Les came to be working together. For the first thing, now we need to go find some place to sit down safely. Um, by the way, shouldn't you wear something over that? Yeah, she's pretty exhibitionist with that outfit. Again, Les being honest, he doesn't know a how to look at her. Lester, could it be you're embarrassed? Around Komodo, this kind of outfit is normal. Aren't you a pure type? Sorry for getting you excited. Uh, no, not really any such thing. Hey. He goes to wipe his 
the sweat off of his cheek with the back of his hand. And what's this? It's another bizarre symbol on the back of his hand. He knows it wasn't here before, so he asks just what it is. Tasa doesn't have one. Just what is happening to Les here? I guess we'll find out eventually. So, it's rare to see a human around here. Since you're here, won't you play with me? I'm sorry, but I haven't got time to play. It would help me out if you would tell me where I am, though. Oh, so you're lost. That's terribly unfortunate, but you'll never be returning home. Well, now. Aside from being an exhibitionist, Les really doesn't like that, does he? The way she's talking means this mermaid is someone who attacks people. Enemy. Tasa, stay behind me. Hey, I'm a dancer too. I'll, I'll be able to help as well. And I have experience in fighting monsters of the sea as well. Well, the two of them are quite uh, lively, aren't they? Let's have some fun. That was short. To think that we'd be all of a sudden attacked by monsters. This place is more dangerous than I expected. I wonder if Nobisa is on this beach somewhere. Nobisa? An acquaintance of mine. We were walking together and got sucked into the black vortex. Hmm. Yes, then it wouldn't be odd if he were around here. But I'm going to prioritize getting you to a safe place. Hmm. That's all right. If we're talking about Nobisa, he, I shouldn't be worried about him, certainly. Even if he is alone. And he should be searching for me as well. And he'll be able to overcome any any kind of opposition. Hmm. Sounds like this Nobisa is pretty strong. And sounds like he's pretty important to Tasa here. Well, in that case, should probably deliver him her to him, eventually. Alright, let's keep onward. This seems to be a place filled with monsters, so be careful. Well, I'm not going to be a burn to you, either. Leave the assistance to me. Whoops. And of course, random encounters. Because I hate random encounters. This is a complex cove, isn't it? And it doesn't seem like there are any human houses around here. We seem to be far from human inhabitation. Human habitation entirely. Uh, I really don't think this is the beach of Komodo. Komodo. Right, you said that you lived there, didn't you? Although, apparently a famous island. Never even heard of it. Yep, definitely feel uneasy about that. Say, Tasa, have you heard of Wavart? Or perhaps Esla? Are those locations? I've never heard of either of them. Yeah, no way. Walat and Esla are both famous big countries in the world. In the world. 
No matter what kind of back backwater you happen to come from, you should have at least heard of them. Furthermore, the world them itself seems to just feel strange. Like there are gears messed up or something. Could it be you and I come from different worlds? Well, he this seems kind of annoying, but he's quick on the pickup, isn't he? Huh, no way that could be. Demo, but uh, I can't think of any other way to consider it. Our knowledge of the world is completely at odds with each other. They just don't match up. So the two of them take turns drawing world maps in the sand. And as expected, they are completely different. Oh, this is unbelievable. This means, yeah, probably isn't the same as either of the worlds we came from. I'm certain the cause of it was that black whirlpool. Passing through there, we've been warped to another world. Hmm. If you think of it that way, it does work out consistently. Now, why we were pulled into this world, who knows? Was it a trap by someone? Or... Well... However this works out, the first matter to settle is getting to safety. There are monsters all over this place. Yes, you're right. And in order to gather information, human inhabitation is probably the best. So nothing to do but to pull out of this beach area. We're going to take our doubts with us and continue on. God, this place is complex. Well, they did say it was a complex cove. Perfect. Whoops. Okay. I skipped a few lines there. Ah, nuts. I skipped like the whole conversation. Anyway, it says that this cave goes to Grand Gold, and we should go through it. Grand Gold sounds like a pretty illustrious nation after all. Well, this place is bigger than I thought. But, if we get through it, we should be out of town. Let's take care as we go through. Good morning! What the hell is this? A bunny? I'm the White Rabbit. And I'm here to guide you. Yeah, enough already. I'm tired of repeating this story all over the place. An enemy? Hmm. Your name was... I forget. Anyway, you're one of the seven chosen heroes. So then, go out and defeat the Lord of Dreams. Aside from you, there are six others. Be sure to work together. Now, furthermore, the Lord of Dreams has her alliance, so from all various worlds. There are some scary folks about, so be careful. Lord of Dreams? Heroes? What are you talking about? You might have noticed this, but this is another world. If you don't defeat the Lord of Dreams, you can't return to your own worlds. Okay, in order to, dream the, in order to, to defeat her, we've been called forth. So, there's a crest on the back of your hand, right? That's the collab proof. It's an indication that you're a chosen hero. Then, what about me? 
Well, you don't have a collab proof, so... And you don't seem to be one of the Alliance. So, you were kind of drawn in by accident? By accident? Hmm. Was there any hero you were next to at the time? Remember anything like that? Some incredibly strong guy or such? Well, could it be Nobisa? Hmm, yeah, probably, I think so. That Nobisa is one of the heroes. And your luck was bad that you got... that you were beside him when the space-time teleportation happened. Along with Nobisa, you were brought to this world. But we can't find Nobisa anywhere. Well, space-time teleportation is pretty slack when it comes to the coordinates. I think he's probably somewhere in this world. That's pretty broad. Alright, explanation's over. So then, gather up the other six and defeat the Lord of Dreams. Hey, wait. So then, bye now. Boy, she is such a slacker. Alright, White Rabbit disappears after saying what she had to say. And less than us are stuck standing there dumbfounded. So, defeat the Lord of Chaos, huh? Lord of Dreams. Now, whether what she said was true or not, it's kind of doubtful, but probably she wasn't lying, I feel. If she were trying to trick us, she would have you know, put more effort into it? Mm, I think so, too. Rushing through it like that. Uh, the way she rushed through it like that, it feels like she was not fabricating lies. So we were called for to defeat this Lord of Dreams or whatever. And if we don't defeat her, we can't go back. Yep, better meet up with these other six. And on the on their hands is where they're probably searching for us too. Well, we've got to get some kind of town or village. Everything's the search for the other heroes starts from there. <laughs> but still, Lust, you're pretty Impressive to be one of the seven chosen heroes in Saul. And I can believe that Nobisa was chosen too. In our world, he's the most amazing person there is. Maybe. He might be the most amazing person in the whole in our whole world. There you go. If that Nobisa is one of the seven heroes, yeah, we're going to meet him sooner or later. Toss is going to be that effusive in praising him. He must be pretty damn tough. If he were amongst my companions in fighting, that'd be great. And Nobisa should certainly be searching me out, I think. So we should meet him right away. Yeah, well, for that purpose, let's get out to our and find a town. Let's get through this cave quickly. Let's... Oh, whatever. Try and stay conscious. For God's sake. Maybe I should have bought more herbs. Well, I kind of bought... What were they? The Phoenix Tales off-camera. Yeah, herbs would have been a good choice, too. Well, now, bringing a woman through a cave like this. 
<laughs> Kiddo. You look young, but you got it. But you got something, don't you? Come around, gather around the fire. The night's getting late, and you better rest your bodies, right? Well, I'll accept this offer. Aside from just Lest here, Tasa is with him. Can't try and push her too hard, too fast. So, thank you very much to even portion out part of your food for us. <laughs> no, it's no big quantity. And we all have our difficult times. There is one thing I'd like to ask. Once we get through, is there a town or anything? Yeah, of course. You ask some pretty obvious questions. This cave is long, but once you get through it, it's grand noise right in front of you. No, these guys say grand Noah, and the sign on that we passed on the way in said grand gold. Because I'm nitpicking. <clears throat> grand Noah, is that a big town? Oh, come on! What kind of boon what kind of backwater do you guys come from? Grand Noah is one of the four great, the four great countries. To not know that. Did you guys come from another world or something? Yeah, another world? No, no, it's just a joke. There are proclamations running about about information in connection to the other worlds, though. Just the other day, Grand Noah, the Queen Grand Noah, issued a proclamation. There is a monetary reward for people who deliver actionable information in connection with other worlds. Huh. Actionable information connected to other worlds. Good job repeating that, Lest. So, Lest and Tassa, without thinking, look at each other. The head of a state, and a great state at that, knows about the other worlds. Come on, a couple of punk adventurers in a cave know about other worlds, even if they're kind of skeptical. But the queen is a convenient figure. Anyway, Grand Noah is now in quite a fuss. The bureaus and aristocracy are out looking for information. Those of the those people who have said they know things about other worlds, and those who say they've got, who claim themselves, claim themselves to have come from other worlds, have come forth to Grand Noah. Well. All of them, they're all frauds or messed up in the head, aren't they? Says this random guy. And probably, honestly, in a situation like that, there'd be plenty of frauds in nuts cases. Anyway, the queen herself might be most messed up in the head. That's what they're whispering. Lately, the queen's just been going... The Queen's actions have just been getting crazier and crazier. I see. So, Queen Grand Noah is searching for information about other worlds. We should probably go ask for an audience with her. If she's got any information at all, she should know about the Seven Heroes and the threat of the Lord of Dreams. Well then, about time to sleep. You guys, we've got some extra sleeping gear. You want to use it? Well, thank you. We'd be glad to. 
Hey, don't worry about when you're in trouble, we're all the same. He 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 he. Hoo ha 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 ha. You don't think these punks are up to something, do you? And with that, the two of us went to sleep. Well, all of us, really. Les, of course, keeps the highest guard up. Hmm, that's weird. They, nothing happened. Well, it got up to morning time, and nothing bad went. And nothing bad went down. I was pretty sure those two adventurers would try something unwholesome. So, those two. And it looks like they've already abandoned their sleeping gear. Can't see them anywhere. They woke up before dawn, those two. Huh, before dawn. They must be in a hurry to get wherever. Well, we too can't exactly take it easy. We gotta get through this cave and onward to Grand Noah. The queen there is looking for information. In that case, we should get along and get to her. And, in that, and if we do, we've got the assistance of a great nation. Even in this world, it should make it easier to get around. I've already finished eating. Lest, what do you plan for breakfast? I'm going to eat dried beef, dried meat while we walk. Come on, let's go. It's ill-mannered, but... We should get to our destination as fast as possible. And so the two of us continued on to Grand Noah. Yeah, a Japanese thing is eating while walking is a bit ill-mannered. Anyway, this is a minister. And he says, hey there, you two. By the look of it, you're jobless. Jobless. That's a w weird way of describing this. We're properly working, you know. No, not like that. You two don't have any adventure jobs attached to you. If you like, I could guide you. Come, place your hand on this book. So it's a job change book. Les touches it. And his experience up to now is applied. So, warrior, swordsman, soldier, royal guard, apprentice hero, hero. Oh, wow. To think you had all this experience and you're walking around jobless. It seems I've gained a rather large number of skills here. This is an adventurer job, huh? How will it work for me? So Tasa touches it too. She gets player and dancer. Jeez, is that all? That's what Lampas got in the last video. Anyway. It looks like you've mastered the dancer class. Seeing people do it like this is my first time. Well, I did do a lot of dancing in my world. Uh, thank you, Minister. You've been a big help. Well, no. It's alright. If you want to change jobs, talk to me. I don't really care about that, but encounter reduction. I like that. Reduce more! Ah. 
Oh, it's Regina. No, it's not Regina. It's just some random girl who looks like her. All right, you guys are heroes that came from another world. I won't let you pass. <laughs> so, you know about us? Are you... Are you one of those from following the Lord of Dreams? The White Rabbit said the Lord of the Rings is the root of all evil here. In order to defeat him, we've been called forth. The Lord of Dreams ally. We are assassins sent here to deal with you. Hmm. Allies. That's right, the White Rabbit said, spoke about you. Furthermore, that outfit, you're trying to seduce us, aren't you? Uh, no, this outfit is, it's been passed down. It's our traditional warrior outfit. Oh, uh, oh, is that so? Sorry. Yeah, don't go accusing people of stuff like that, Lest. Hey, <laughs> as expected, Lest, you're so pure. <laughs> anyway, let's do this. Don't underestimate the power of an Omni Swordsman. Right, let's fight. Despite being called assassins, they weren't all that impressive. Maybe you're just too strong, Lest? Anyway. Let's be careful as we move onward. So it's gotten to the point where they're sending assassins. The Alliance knows of our existence. Ah, uh, you don't think it was those two adventurers that disappeared before dawn, do you, do you? Huh? Huh? Yeah, they never mentioned those guys again. Well, even if only one moment high, faster, let's get that audience with the Queen. The situation's getting tense quickly. Hey who? Well now, sun's so bright. Well, finally got through the cave, huh? It was longer than I thought. Well, we heard that once we got through the cave, Grand Noah would be close. And in truth, off to the east we see a big castle. Excuse me. That must be it. It's just a little further to Grand Noah. Let's go. A capital city in the in another world. I wonder what it's like. This might be fun. This is Belle. Yeah, and apparently she recognizes him. She says, Omni Swordsman. We won't let you go any further than this. This is Rila. Lyra? Whichever. So, you came to this world. You want you go so far to get in our way. You two. Belle and Lyra. No kidding. So, these two are your acquaintances, Lest? That's right, Missy. The Omni Swordsman has taken good care of us in the past. And our grudge we're going to get our payback for here. So, in the Alliance of the Lord of Dreams, you guys fell in too. And you sent assassins after me as well. Probably, they look like the type to do it. Yeah, Bell and Lyra are allies of the Lord of Dreams. Well, that explains how they know about him. So, you two are less enemies. Yeah, Missy. 
I do plan to get... <clears throat> Missy, why don't you not get in our way? If you don't want to get yourself hurt, you'd better run away. I won't run away. I'm going to fight. Bell, Vera, get out of the way. Can't do that. If we let you go to Grand Noah, it would be troublesome. So, that being the case, we're going to have you come here. Okay. Well, you're strong after all. But don't think that you've won here. We're just pulling back. Yeah. Question, how are they able to operate just out in the open right next to the capital city? Well, I'm sure that question will be answered eventually. So they disappear. Bell and Lyra are also in this world. That means that she too. And Bell and Lyra have a master, the winged demon Musetto. She's really troublesome to handle. And no doubt, she's in the Lord of Dreams Alliance as well. Well, if Musette and them are our enemies, this is going to be pretty tough. Well, it'll be alright. There's Lest and Nobisa. Furthermore, five other heroes. Yeah. Tossa's expectations, well, wouldn't want to dash them. Furthermore, the people of this world are... The people inhabiting this world have a crisis that we need to fix. Well, we're going to have to try even harder going forward. Come, let's meet the Queen of Grand Noah. So, we go through the town below this castle and find ourselves before Grand Noah Castle. So, this is Grand Noah Castle. Then... Alright. You can tourist, do your tourist thing inside of the castle, and you're free to do so. But you can't go up to the second floor without special permission. Um... I came from another country, you see. And I have information, actionable information, in connection to other worlds. Ah, oh, I see. There are a lot of people saying that nowadays. Well, yeah, we thought it would come to this. Since they issued these proclamations demanding information, they've got to sort out rumor from truth. So, they're worried about lies and false information coming through. So, in order to help them sort it out, how shall we do it? In connection with the Lord of Dreams. Confused alarm. Surprised alarm. So that's on their checklist of important words to listen for. Now that we've dropped that, they should be able to tell. They should be able to pass that through their truth and falsehood sorting. And luckily, these keywords have passed out even down to these lowly guards, it seems. So it passes through quickly and we get some priority treatment. Okay, come along this way. We're going to pass this through to our superiors. 
And the huh, and the conversation goes smoothly going on from there. From the guard superiors to the bureaus to the advisors. And just like that, we it's turned into an audience with the queen. This Queen Grandno is pretty good at administrating things. There's the whispered rumor that the Queen's gone bad in the head, but in order to get her administration, administrative organization working like this, she's nothing to scoff at. Your Majesty, it is an honor to be to have the pleasure of meeting you. I am the swordsman, Adest. I'm the shrine maiden of Komodo, Tasa. Um, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. She's not familiar with this, I guess. Well, you come from a different place in order to stand before me. The situation is urgent, so it's unnecessary to use unnecessary it's unnecessary to use excessive formalities well then let me explain in connection to the other worlds no that will not be necessary we already know all that we need to you see and I see your inform your information network is not so par. Well then, you are looking for the seven heroes, is that right? Those people are not well, something we have use for. Huh? The Shrine Maiden of Komodo, Tasa. She is who we are looking for. Me? What's the meaning of this, Your Majesty? Queen Grangold's eyes shine with the strange light. Lest has seen this before. The same thing in the eyes of another. Her will's stolen, and her made to be a puppet. Without doubt, Queen Grandno has been brainwashed. So that's how it is. Show yourself, Musette. Hey, check it out, she has two wings. Well, 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 you figured that out quickly, didn't you? I wanted to play with you a little more, though. Oh, snap. Another set of three enemies. Ha ha, you fell right into our trap. I'm glad it went well. You did so. You do. You did perfectly. Omnish Omnic Swordsman. There we go. We said we wouldn't let you go to Grand Noah and just to go against this, you jumped right in, didn't you? Oh no, reverse psychology? We're done for. It can't be. You had the queen brainwashed already. So that's how you did it. That's right. This great country is already under our power. It's conditional in our alliance with the Dr Lord of Dreams, you see. After this, if we have the Shrine Maiden's power, this world will be drawn in, will be submerged into the Lord, into the land of the night all at once. Tasa, I don't know what's going on here, but they're after you. You've got to stay close to me. Yeah, I know that. He he he. So Tasa comes close to Lest and grabs closely onto him. What are you doing? 
What do you think I'm doing? So Atasa gets into his pants. Starts playing around in there. Furthermore, her appearance is... No way, a succubus. That girl, for whatever reason, carries the bloodline of succubi in her, it seems. And because of that, brainwashing her was just that easy. I don't know, I think it would give some measure of uh, resistance myself. Musette, this is your doing. No shit less, you are a smart one. Now then, Tasa, weaken that Omni Swordsman for us. That's what she says, Les. So, let's have some fun. Stop it, stop it. How are you? Well, that's how that went. No, stop, Tasa. Etc. So, apparently, Les goes loses all his power when he's uh, seduced like this and he collapses or maybe that's normal throughout all of this setting well you'd be difficult to fight head on but handled like this the omni swordsman is nothing at all no way <laughs> I'm going to weaken you some more here, Lest. Not gonna end just yet. <laughs> he begs for her to stop. But, simple as that. Seduction and getting knocked out, I guess. And like that, Lest is defeated, and Tassa falls into the hands of Musette and them. So, his essence is stripped out, and he's rendered unconscious, with no chance to resist. And this is the end of the Omni Swordsman. And the Shrine Maiden is on our side. Yeah. If we've got the power of the Shrine Maiden, we can do... we can execute the ritual of summoning the evil castle. Whatever that means. And then our plan is also... Yeah, don't finish the sentence for us. See if I care. With that, Les gets captured by Musette and them. And Les and Tassa is also fallen. Well, now that was interesting, wasn't it? With that, though, chapter 3 is done, so let's end the video here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see oh, these three familiar faces next time. Bye now.